Welcome to the Eliza Studio Quick Starts. This video will cover the fundamentals of Eliza's powerful 3D room engine to create natural and enveloping experiences in an object-based environment with three key sets of reflections. Early, the first few arrivals following the direct sound. Early reflections provide us with information regarding a sound's proximity and intelligibility. Cluster reflections, the set of reflections that merge early with late. Cluster reflections impact the perception of a room's size and envelopment. And late reflections, the diffuse energy of a room response most commonly associated with the notion of reverb. The reverb in Eliza is not like an individual plugin that can be applied to every source, but instead creates a singular acoustic space for your mix. Creating, editing, and loading different reverbs can be done on the reverbs page. You can also navigate to the Reverbs page with the keyboard shortcuts Command-5 on Mac and Control-5 on Windows. The Reverbs page is broken up into three sections. Reverb presets, parameters, and levels for the master and reverb faders. As a reminder, the mute buttons for these faders are disabled when in live on-air mode to prevent any accidents in a live show. There are five reverb presets included in each of the default templates and any newly created session. An active preset is surrounded by a blue border. Clicking on a different preset will display its respective parameters and will be represented by an orange border and orange text. Click the load button to recall this new reverb. On the Soundscape page, the active reverb preset can be seen at the bottom of the screen. Reverb in Eliza is engaged by the distance parameter of a source. With minimal distance, you hear more of the direct energy and less reverb. By increasing the distance, a larger amount of the acoustic space is heard, as if the sound source is physically farther away. Here's a quick example of a drum kit in the default large, warm concert hall reverb using the binaural rendering within Eliza Studio. Please put on a pair of headphones for the best experience. To create a new reverb preset, navigate back to the reverbs page and click New. A pop-up window will appear containing a list of options to choose from such as venue type, size, and color to quickly create a new preset. If the Audition button is enabled, you can preview these different presets while any audio is playing. Reverb parameters can then be further modified by making adjustments to each set of reflections in time, equalization, space, and gain. The relationship of distance and starting reverb can be adjusted with the fade in option. Reverb presets can also be imported from other Eliza sessions by accessing the drop down menu next to the session name. The behavior of the reverb can vary on a source-by-source -source basis, which can be configured in the Processing tab of the Sources page. Turn off Direct Sound to hear only the reverb. The gain and high-frequency attenuation of the distance processing can be enabled or disabled. And you have the option to define how a source engages each set of reflections within the room engine. Reverbs can also be recalled with the built-in Snapshot Engine. When using snapshots, you can see how many instances a reverb preset is being used in multiple snapshots. Reverbs can also be recalled through OSC or MIDI program change commands. For more information on the Room Engine and source properties, 
please refer to the detailed help file. This has been the Eliza Studio Quick Start for Reverbs.